Hi guys, and welcome to uh, what I believe is my fourth video. Yeah, I think it's my fourth video on YouTube. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on a pair of work shoes and a pair of winter boots um, that really I should have done weeks ago because I know I mentioned I was going to do the review in my last video. And I think I, re I released that last video like three or four weeks ago. I'm not sure. I haven't checked exactly when, but I know it's been a while. Uh, apologies that I haven't done this video sooner, and it's... I'm, I'm not quite sure why I'm still doing this video, because, um, at least for the boots, because by now, ev a lot of people would have already gotten their winter, their boots for winter, but I thought, hey, I'm, j I'm gonna do a review anyway, because, you know, people might still want to buy them for the January seasons, for, you know, later in December, or even February, because these are, frankly, these are boots for all, good boots for all year round. They're not the kind of boots that I like insulated and like keep your legs really really warm so you can wear them all all, every, all the time all year so in that way there you can review them at any point but apologies that it is a bit late for the december season i really should have done this like one or two weeks ago but unfortunately last week when i wanted to film on my days off um it was raining like a month it was like literally monsoon season here in england and it still is and I was going to do the review in the forest that I did my last review, and that wasn't feasible. I tried, and basically, yeah, not walking into the very middle of a forest, where everything is basically consistent of leaves and mud, with a tripod and, you know, items, especially item one item that I, had, I would have had to have worn, because they're my staple boots right now. Not feasible. So I've just sort of given up on trying that and I'm going to do it in my room, well, the other side of my room, so at least this is a bit more interesting than where I previously uh, filmed, which is over there. But you've got a nice fake stained window behind me to look at. But yeah, okay, so uh, right, before I move into the, onto the review, I'm just going to mention if you hear any noises, apologies, but I'm actually right next to my gerbil cage, which is right over here. Um, my grandmother might interrupt, my dog might bark because he's got the loudest bark on earth, you can actually hear him from three blocks away. And um, planes keep seem to be fly seem to be keep flying by recently, you know, they hardly ever do here and today it's just like, ooh, all the time. Yeah, always happens when I have to do a video. Right, uh, enough of that, on to the video. Um, a bit of a his, uh, well, not history, <laughs> review. A bit of, um, uh, how do you put this? A bit of a background. Um, I started a job, my first job in a long time, a couple of months ago, or actually more than a couple of months ago. Um, I'm not with that job any longer, I'm working somewhere else. But basically, that job drove me to the point of where I had to purchase comfortable shoes. Now, thing is, I've ha I had a job five or six years ago before I started university. And I could stand on my feet for eight hours, no trouble. I once did a 13 hour day. I had no problems, I was fine. I might have had a little bit of, a, bit of an ache, but it was nothing compared to this. And yes, I am significant, significantly heavier than I was back then. But the fact is, is that recently, well not recently, but in the last three to four to five months, I've lost 12 kilos. So I'm not as heavy as I could have been when I started that job. And basically, you know, my poor feet having to carry all of this, and they're only size, size five feet, poor little feet, and standing eight hours a day doing a shitload of work, apologies for cursing, but uh, basically if you ever get the chance to work in a bakery, don't, unless you're like physically the fittest person ever, or you're determined, or you, you just don't get foot pain no matter what you do. Uh, then I would suggest the job, yeah, suggest, fine, take the job. But, oh, if you've worked in retail and you think that's tiring, or you've worked in a supermarket and you think that's tiring, don't take this job, don't take a job in a bakery, really don't. Um, because, you know, and plus it's not fair to the employer either, because then, you know, if they've employed you thinking you can do the job, and then you can, which is what I couldn't do, I had to, I had no choice, I had to leave that job, because I just couldn't do the job I was hired to do without popping painkillers, because it wasn't just my feet, it was my back, it was every, it was a lot of things, I had a lot of problems. Um, 
too much information. But yeah, it's not basically not fair on the um, on the, on the people who hire you either because they're trusting you to do the job and then they have to spend you know other amounts of time and money on finding someone else. So yeah, kind of a fair warning there. I mean, I'm not the fittest person on earth, and I, I don't pretend to be, but I'm not the I'm not the laziest couch potato either. Not like I used to be. I used to be horrifically so, but now I'm a lot more active and I do exercise um, as often as I can, even though I have a job. And my my current job is actually quite physically demanding, so and I love it. I absolutely adore it. It's just that job wasn't for me and not for my feet. But basically, it drove me to have to find um, comfortable work shoes. Sorry, playing with my hair. Um, and I did a lot of searches. I actually bought a pair of boots from Marks and Spencers. And while they were extremely comfortable when I tried them on in the shop, what you kind of forget is is that you, it doesn't it doesn't speak for how they're going to be for eight hours straight. And yeah, it just didn't work. It just didn't happen. It just wasn't good. Um, great boots, I'm going to keep them otherwise for wearing out, but it's not good for longer periods than four hours straight of standing on your feet. So eventually I was like, well, what's the one place that's going to sell comfortable shoes? And my mum actually suggested that I go to Clark's. Clark's was once a staple of mine. I used to buy my shoes only from there, and then they kind of changed because all their boots had like humongous heels, and I'm not great with heels. I used to wear them a, a lot when I was a lot younger, but once I sort of got to got to my early 20s, I stopped wearing heels, and I just got used to wearing flat shoes or only with um, small heels. So, um, but my mum was like, look, I've bought um, Clark, I bought shoes from them, and literally it's just like walking on air. She didn't know which ones they were or if they were even still selling them, but she said, just go there, try. And thing is, I did a review. I I did a research research while I was on the bus um, heading. I had like an hour or so, and I started uh, looking looking for reviews of Clark's shoes. And a lot of people commented on two different shoes. Now, unfortunately for me, for some reason, I can't find one of the shoes that I found, and I didn't save the link or anything. So they may no lo may no longer be in stock. But one of the pairs of shoes that I did find is um, hang on, let me find it here. Ah, oh, dear me. I'm so unorganized. Ah, here we go. Um, they're called Coffee Cake, and they're thirty nine ninety nine, and they're, they're black leather. Um, but, and I know there was another pair, and both of these shoes got amazing reviews. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go for the shoes that have a lot more, have the a lot, lot more reviews, because obviously that more people have tried them, and more people have agreed, yeah, they're great shoes. Problem is, when I went to try both of them on, I do remember that the coffee cake ones, I think it was either coffee, either the coffee cake or the other pair, I'm not sure what they were called, they were too, too hard, it was like there was no cushioning, I was just like, it, it was the most uncomfortable, one of the most uncomfortable shoes I've ever tried, and I was like, this is not making my feet feel better, I deliberately went after work so that my feet were still hurting, so I could see if there was any, like, effect. And there wasn't, and I tried on the other ones, and they were too, like, too overly soft. Like, I, I, I know that doesn't really make sense, because that's what you want, but it, it just didn't work for me. I just didn't like it. It just didn't feel right. And actually, ironically, the first pair of shoes I grabbed when I went in, which were right by the door, were, were ones I hadn't even heard of. I, I didn't find reviews about them. But um, they're called Embrace Charm, and they're also thirty nine ninety nine black leather. And the only reason I grabbed them was because I found them really attractive, and I know a lot of people from the, the reviews I've read actually think that they're really ugly, because they say that they look like boats. But personally, I think it depends on the person, what you like, what looks good on you, etc. Because I personally think they look really cute, and they look really classy and just good. They obviously are great, amazing quality. But I took a chance and I tried them on, and they're absolutely amazing. I am not kidding here these shoes literally when I put my feet in them it was like walking it was like it was like my feet gave us literally sighed in relief they were still in pain and literally when I put them in it was just like oh my god like they were being cushioned by pillows they were and they're still like that 
several months down the line of wearing them, they're still like that. They're still that comfortable. And thing is, while my feet still hurt when I put them in, the pain was eased. It was amazing. I was like, the fact that my pain has eased, I didn't, I didn't think that they would just take the pain away. That's not possible. You know, you need, your feet need time to rest, um, you know, for that to happen. But the fact that they eased the pain and made it was so comfortable to walk on, I was like, that's it, buying them worth the money, worth so much money. And I prayed that it would be it would be so for eight hours, and it was. Albeit, albeit, no matter what, I was still in pain. Um, uh, still in pain by the end of the day. But that was because I didn't. I worked five days a week for eight hours straight every single day. I never got a respite. I got like one day's respite and there's no way I can be at home and just lie in bed all day. I have things to do. I have to take Zach out on walks. So my I could never just relax with my feet up. But at one point I was ill and I did get like three or four days um, to rest and that actually helped a lot. And, um, and when I went back to do like my last week of work, it literally, my feet didn't, my feet barely hurt by the end of the day. And I was just like, these shoes are absolutely amazing. And um, I've recently, when I, the job I recently started um, is also very physically demanding, not as physically demanding as working in a bakery, but, um, but definitely, definitely physically demanding but in a in a really good way for me I like I love this job quite a lot and it is my kind of job it's just you know physically demanding enough that I feel like I'm doing something like you know I'm getting good exercise and um you know it's not just me sitting in an office or it's not just me I don't know uh you know like when people um like when uh, when people look after other people or like babysit, although I know babysitting for a fact is extremely, um, <laughs> dependent on the children, can be extremely tiring in other ways. But you get what I mean, you know, um, working in a supermarket dependent on, well, actually, I think it's like this with most supermarkets and how big they are, especially the bigger, the more you have to do. But I have a lot to do in this job. Like, I'm never not doing anything. I'm never not on my feet. I'm not doing as many hours. But I literally, I did do six hours rather than my usual four. And I didn't feel any different. I was like, I could definitely go for eight hours and I would be fine. Obviously, I'd be exhausted in other ways, but my feet would be good. And, yeah, these shoes are absolutely amazing. Um, apologies, they're not exactly... Oh, sorry. They're not exactly in the best condition right now because... I have been wearing them for like the last two months, every day, nearly every day of my life. But sorry if you can't really see them. Again, my camera's not the best. But they've got two lovely silver buttons on the side. I just think that's a nice touch. It 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 makes it more feminine. And I absolutely love these shoes, and they're amazing. And they've kept up really well. And you know, Clark Clark's is known for amazing quality. Apologies if you can't see them, or I'm holding them badly, or. But as you can see from the side there, hang on, there you go. But these are amazing. And the fact that they still feel like when I first put them on is what amazes me the most. Because you'd think you'd wear them down a bit and they wouldn't be as comfortable, but they're still as comfortable. So if you're looking for really comfortable work shoes or your feet really hurt just on a general basis, because I know a lot of people have problems with their feet, one of my friends does, and um, I'll really have to recommend these to her, actually. I've completely forgotten to do that. But some, one of my friends does have really bad feet prob foot problems with, with the arches of her feet and stuff. And I'm not sure if these would help, but I think they really would go a long way to helping or at least easing some of the pain because they're amazing. And... Um, or if you're if you're heavy and you, you tend your feet tend to hurt if you walk for very long periods of time because of that, or if you generally if you just if your feet just hurt from standing for very long or walking long distances, I really do recommend these. These are amazing shoes, and for thirty nine ninety nine, you know, actual leather, really comfortable shoes. These are worth twice as much in my opinion because they are just that comfortable and. It's just literally like you're wearing nothing. It's just like you're, or you're walking on air. It's literally, I know a lot of people have said that about other shoes, but these for me are the holy grail. These are holy grail work shoes. 
but right, so uh, enough chattering on about that. I'm going to move on to my boots, um, which I actually got from a store online. And th this is actually a shop I've never shopped at before called Curvisa. Um, I basically spent a proper good two weeks on online, excuse me, looking for um, winter boots. And problem is, because I'm overweight, my calves are overly huge. So I can't fit into normal boots that don't stretch. And, you know, and it's like, oh, I'm missing out on all these great boots just because my calves are huge. So I started looking online because I looked everywhere in, in stores and nothing fit me or everything had huge heels. And I was just like, nothing fit my criteria. And... I just looked, I looked online, I couldn't really find anything, and it was atrocious. I was just like, am I looking in the wrong places? Am I typing the wrong thing in? And eventually I found Curvisa. And I was actually torn between the, the boots I bought and another pair, and I was actually going to get the other pair originally, but then it said um, it will take, um, it will take, oh, I think, one to two weeks to deliver, and I was like, I can't wait one to two weeks, I need them now. And I was slightly worried about ordering them because they had very tall heels and I was like but they were so pretty I was just like maybe I can survive but actually I'm really happy that I went with the other ones because the other ones they said that they can do next day delivery and I was like great I'll do that I'll I'll, I'll get them if if it turns out that they're not good for me I'll just return them um but luckily for me I didn't have to return them when I, I, I have to admit, when I saw them on the website, I was just, I wasn't impressed by the way they looked. I usually don't like that kind of um, boot, you know, uh, aesthetically. It just doesn't appeal to me. And they didn't really didn't appeal to me when I got them. The thing is, when you put them on, they look completely different. And they actually, surprisingly, made my, my calves and my ankles look slimmer. And I was just, and I was just like, that's a miracle in itself. But, um, yeah, um, they are a bit hard to get on at first, um, because while they do have, like, um, a stretchy material all around the back, you, the leather, you know, you have to wear them for a while for the leather to sort of, like, give in. But basically, um, all, all I did was I put, I put them on and I just pulled, because you've got a zipper right here. Um, I just pulled so that, like, let's say it's around my leg. I just literally left this, let this go, and then I pulled this as much as close to the zipper as I could, and I zipped it up with my other hand, and that worked. It was, it wasn't really tight. It was just more secure. I'm not sure. It wasn't like, oh my god, my legs can't breathe. I never had that sensation, and my calves are huge. Trust me. Um, so yeah, I would definitely actually really recommend this to uh, any any plus size ladies or any ladies actually. I I know a lot. I, I've heard a lot of slim ladies out there have huge calves, which is like, how can they have them as big as me? It's just not probable, but it happens, you know, uh, for for whatever reason. And I would definitely recommend these. These are amazing. Um, can't remember what they're called. Um, hang on. Just going to check. Again, I'm so disorganized. Let's see. Um, oh, they're just called extra wide fitting boots and they're 85 pounds, which are actually, I think, 30 pounds cheaper than the others. No, the others were 105, so that's 20 pounds cheaper. Um, and they are, let's see, uh, wide fit, extra soft cushioned insole, slip resistant, and I can actually vouch for that. I've had so many boots in the past, that are not slip resistant or they say they are and then literally on the first you know wet patch or uh, you know when there's been like snow or ice it's just like what you know but these i can definitely speak for the speak from personal experience they are slip resistant um flexible synthetic outer sole um Let's see, leg height 37 centimeters, leg width 45 centimeters, stretched 48 centimeters, and heel height 4 centimeters. Now, the heel height is actually perfect for me. This is the exact kind of heel height that I like. I could probably go 1 centimeter taller, which is actually what the other boots were. I think they were 5 centimeters, but they look a lot bigger, at least in, from the picture they do. 
But these are perfect. These are amazing. They're just so comfortable. And they've got uh, a buckle design here. Um, got a buckle design here. All of the back is stretch. Um, and they've got... Oh, hang on. And they've got a zip, a zip down the side, all the way to all the way to the bottom, and they are amazing. I mean, they're not insulated, so they're not they're not warm. They're not meant to keep your legs warm. It's more, well, they do they do they would more than the average boot because if you've got an ankle boot, your you know your upper cat your calf is not covered. But basically, what I do is I put on a thin pair of ankle socks. Um, ankle socks, no, calf, um, calf socks, and then I put my, my, um, slim jeans on, and then I put a pair of knee-high, hang on, I put a, uh, excuse the fact that they're dirty, um, I put a pair of knee-high socks that I got from Primark, um, on, and that's perfect, they literally keep my legs so warm like that, because obviously, because I'm wearing the socks, or you can even get thicker socks. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I could actually fit my leg with even thicker socks into these boots. Um, I haven't tried it because this is actually adequate for me. This keeps me adequately, my legs adequately warm. And, um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend, recommend them. Um, if you're looking for something that is insulated or is warmer, I would go for a different shoe, but like I said, at least with these, um, they give you the option of like, you know, sort of like accessorizing your boots, like, because it's nice to have that little bit of like white knee sock or, re or red for a little bit of a seasonal, you know, uh, catch to it, um, to, you know, sort of pop out at the top of the shoe. It just, it just, it makes your outfit that bit more sort of like eye-catching, well, not eye-catching, but... I don't know, a bit more colourful, a bit more, you know, a bit more nice. I don't know what I'm saying. But, um, and it also, make, it also makes the point that because they're not insulated and because they're not, like, they don't keep your legs boiling like a pair of boots that my mum have, like, which literally make your feet sweat. I'm not joking. It, they're absolutely, they're like wearing heaters on your feet. But because, because they're not like that, I could easily wear these in the summer. It might be a bit hot for me because, you know, my whole leg would be covered. But I'm going to try, I'm definitely going to try and wear them in the summer and see how it goes. And um, because, you know, English weather's aren't, English weather? <laughs> English summers aren't really that hot. But, um, but I, either way, I'm going to try and see. If we have a hot English summer, then oh well, I'll see how I fare in them. But that isn't going to be for a long time yet. But these are definitely a staple. I wear these every single day. There's no other shoe I wear now. And I'm not going to stop wearing them until I can go back to wearing my um, ballet flats. And I don't think that's going to be until like March, April time. If not May, June time. And Or I might revert back to wearing my ankle boots. But either way, these are really good. And they're actually really comfortable. Not as com Nowhere near as comfortable as Clark's, but that's not going, that's not possible. If they could create a shoe that was like a combination of the Clark shoes and these, Jesus, you know, I, I'm not going to take these off anyway throughout the whole of December, January, February, etc. But those, it would just be like, oh, I would be tempted never to take them off. But there isn't a shoe like that, not that I know of at least. Uh, let me know if you do, if you do know, and then I can go and see what these miraculous shoes are, well, miraculous boots. Um... But they are extremely comfortable. I have walked in them after I've done work for four hours straight. But then I was wearing my Clark shoes. But I have walked in these, only these, for a proper four to six hours non-stop. And while I can't say that my feet weren't in discomfort, they were only slightly discomforted. Like, not, not because of the boots, but just because generally because I've been walking in, in, bo in boots for six hours straight. And boots that are not as comfortable as the Clark shoes which are made for long periods of walking or standing etc but they are amazingly comfortable for what they are and the fact that they're leather and they're only 85 pounds for you know for those kind of boots is just really good and I have to say Curvisa are really good a really good website they offer so many different um 
like clothes, boots, shoes, and I'm, you know, it's it's really tempting to buy things from there, except I don't have the money to, not really. But um, they're a really good site. They have a really good returns policy, from what I read. Um, and they do deliver next day, and it's a reason. It's I think it's a reasonable price. I think it was like four or five pounds, um, which is the general price. And yeah, they're just a really good website, and I would definitely definitely recommend them for the larger ladies or even the slimmer ladies because as said you know i've read so many times i've read so many times over the over my research period um you know that women who are like size 12 or size 10 or even size 8 have really big calves and they can't fit into normal boots and it's just like well definitely go to curvisa because they're amazing and they're made for the slight the bigger calf so why not but yeah, that's my review. Uh, apologies. Um, hopefully the video isn't too long. I, I can't see the, discre the, the, the display screen, but I'm praying it's under 20 minutes. And yeah, I'll just let you. I'll just sign off with that. Um, I'm not sure what my next video is going to, when my next video is going to be, but I know it's going to be about my L'Occitane um, purchase. Well, technically I didn't purchase, my mum bought it for me for Christmas, an early Christmas present, and I'm definitely going to be reviewing that, but because I only got it yesterday, I want to give it some time to try the products and see if they work, you know, see how other people respond to them, because it is, one of them is something to do with fragrance, it's not a perfume, but it is something to do with fragrance, and the other one is actually to do with fragrance as well and yeah I just want to I, I want to see if they work I want to see what other people say about them etc you know get a proper full-on review and yeah uh, that's all for my video today um, and go check out uh, all the uh, items I reviewed today uh, if you want to find comfortable work shoes or, or comfortable boots for winter even January and fe late February etc and I will see you guys in my next video okay bye